Carmina Burana is probably one of the most popular works for chorus and orchestra. And Karl Orff felt that fortune had smiled on him when he found a book whose title was Pure Magic, Carmina Burana. He knew that this piece was going to be an important work for him, and he set about to compose the music right away. The title page had a picture of the Wheel of Fortune with some writing in Latin underneath it, and this just inspired him uh, immediately to uh, start working on these pieces. They were poetry of the 13th century, taken from many countries across Europe, England and France and Spain and Italy, and uh, they tell of ordinary life um, from the standpoint of many different types. They're not individuals who are, are telling us these stories. They are types. They are um, uh, revelers in a bar. They are um, a swan roasting on a spit who sings this very unforgettable song, kind of dark humor. And uh, they are love songs. There are dances. Um, this music, I'm sure you are going to recognize, even if you don't think you know this piece, because the uh, score has been so plundered by film score composers and uh, uh, composers writing TV commercials that you will certainly recognize this music, even if you think you've never heard Carmina Burana before. Um, it's a piece that is immediately accessible and um, uh, really finds its way into people's hearts and into their ears uh, immediately. Uses a very unusual combination of instruments in the orchestra, um, among them two pianos, which gives this very kind of percussive uh, effect to the orchestra. Large orchestra, winds in threes, and um, extra uh, number of percussion instruments, which Orff uses together with the two pianos to create this kind of um, very uh, percussive uh, sound and the music has this kind of propulsiveness to it. It just uh, keeps rolling uh, in this very uh, dramatic way. The opening, O Fortuna, is massive. It just sort of like comes at you like this great wave um, and that same uh, music ends the work as well. And in between there are many many different moods. There's the very romantic mood, uh, there's the drinking chorus, um, there are soloists, three soloists. There's a group of male soloists who represent the drinkers in the, uh, in the tavern. Um, there's a large uh, adult chorus, and there's also a children's chorus. So it is a real event, Carmino Burana.